Now, let's look at the monetary constitution for floating rates. And here I'd make a distinction between what I would call the normative arguments and the positive arguments. The normative arguments, I think there are two norm, norm, normative arguments. The first is no distortions to trade flows at the border from tariffs, overvaluation, undervaluation. This is our objective. The second objective is monetary independence. Each central bank should have the freedom uh, to do what it wants to do. Now let me come to the positive arguments. Uh, the first is changes in exchange rates uh, would be uh, would be stable. Uh, the exchange market uh, would feature stability. Uh, the second positive argument was the national currency areas would be insulated from each other. And that led to the third positive argument, which was that central banks would have monetary independence. So monetary independence is both a normative argument and, and a positive argument. Uh, 